Hi guys and welcome to the Savvy Professor and in today's video I'm going to show you how to wrap text in Airtable. So first of all open your Airtable project. Here I'm in my Airtable project and basically wrapping text means that displaying the cell contents on multiple lines rather than one long line. So this will allow you to avoid any truncated column effect, make the text easier to read and better fit for printing. In addition, it will help you keep the column width consistent throughout the entire worksheet. So in Excel, we get the wrap text option at the top, but in Airtable, there has been no wrap text added by the technical team, but still I will show you a way how you can do that. Wrap text is not available here. We can see that we have the option for grid form calendar, adding views and grids and hiding fields, add or import data automation interfaces, group, sort, color, tools. And in tools, we have these options, extensions, but we don't have any wrap text option. So in order to display the content of your cell in multiple lines, rather than a single long line, you will have to basically resize your cell here. So simply select any of the cell or records and simply you will see this plus icon being made. You will have to click on this and resize this if you can, but we are not getting any option to resize it too. So we have the option to make it a long line, but we can't bring it down or expand it vertically. So if you want to do that, you will have to basically come here at the top of the fields, resize this horizontally and just add text in these fields and hit enter. Come here on row height and click on medium and it will be made smaller. If we click on the row height and make it tall, it will expand a little bit more. If we click on extra tall, it will look something like this. So basically the only way that is near to wrapping text is using the row height option. You can click on row height and make it tall, extra tall, medium or any size that you want. So that was the only way through which you can do it and wrap your text making the vertical axis a little longer. So that's how you can basically do that. Like and subscribe if you found this video helpful.